Greetings everyone, this is Constantino, and something interesting caught my eye. So here, here it is. Warner Media Discovery should make Zack Snyder's Justice League 2. Okay, I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, so, yeah, this is an interesting one. I mean, I'm not going to go through the whole thing like nor some others would. That's like Midnight's Edge and stuff like that. That's, they go through the particulars about it. Um, however, I am going to go to this one part. So, base, okay. What I'm getting at is a few months ago, you might have heard about this. Um, a few months ago, there was an article targeting um, Disney in general, Bob Chapek in particular, and without mentioning it, Kathleen Kennedy. And it basically was talking about how the whole Gina Carano thing didn't make any goddamn business sense. So I'm looking, reading through this thing, and in the first, the second paragraph, the second paragraph's really what I want to talk about, because basically they go through this whole thing. Zack Snyder's um, Army of the Dead is a big hit for Netflix. Can't confirm nor deny, blah, 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 all that schmuckety schmuck, schmuck, schmuck stuff. Um, because they're not releasing numbers. Of course, they're not going to release numbers unless they absolutely have to. And even then, I think it's a freaking jerk-off session. Um, so, they're saying it was a big hit on HBO Max. Which it might have been. It might have been. Um, it's well known that the executives in Warner and Warner Brothers aren't happy. Because they are the ones who killed it in... The um, theatrical releases to begin with, and they want to make Pattinson Batman for whatever reason. Mainly, well, I could tell you because they don't want this. But there's news about that, rumors about that being an utter flaw already, and hasn't even come out yet. So anyway, and I, but it was a big hit for HBO Max. It got people onto their streaming service but they're talking in this thing about how they have two total of 200 million in subscribers let's um but well here's the part all right second paragraph in there's no point pretending there isn't an audience for it or that it wouldn't be a significant publicity coup for the studio and there's no and here here's Here's the big one. There is no reason to let pointless resentments, internal feuds, or clickbait hungry fan sites. Nice dig at those assholes. You seriously, Forbes, you get some respect, and I don't really care for you guys, but props there. As obstacles to the right business and artistic decision. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I was one of the people who were on board with the release the Snyder Cut thing. Because you could honest, I could say that, and you would say, Hey, Cass, let's look at other your videos. Hey, Jagoff, look at this one. So, uh, so right now, but they're, they're completely right. There's an audience for it. There's an already made audience. Something something that Hollywood hasn't really gotten into their heads. Think Hollywood, think. Hmm? This is the same, this is the same, the same story we're going through with Lucasfilm. There's a contingent of overpriced crybaby jagoffs who have jobs they don't deserve and probably didn't actually technically earn 
crying because their stuff's not getting the limelight that they so deserve, feel they deserve, and this other one completely is. Seriously. And they're letting this freaking get in the way. Um, personally, I like how at and playing it. Because right now, at and has gotten... Because of the business thing with deal with Discovery, which I'm not sure if it's finalized. I don't think it's finalized, but it's really sounding like it's... Might as well be. But this puts these executives basically against the wall. This is why they need Pattinson's Batman to actually work if the rumors are true about how they already feel that's a train wreck. This, this, and this um, thing in Forbes, well, I don't know why, this is something that whether you like, you agree with the Snyder Cut, you don't agree with the Snyder Cut, this should, I mean, you're going, if you're going to cover about the Gina Carano thing, this should have been covered. This should be covered a lot more. It, it just should be. And they're going into particulars like 25 million per episode. I mean, that it would be they mention how it'll be on par with the Mandalorian and uh, Marvel's WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier. So it's not like this stuff's really, really out there. Everything that's in this thing is, uh, there's a reasonable price for a high quality Big brand IP series with an existing fan base in the of in the millions. If released in weekly chapters, it could attract more attention and weekly discussion. Encourage long-term subscription by fans who might otherwise sign up for a few days and then cancel. Demonstrate the idea, DC's content ability to build separate divergent corners of its multiverse approach and continue making premium exclusive content that attracts both the built-in fan base and new converts and it opens the door to additional content within that corner of the DCEU such as animated spin-offs which I love the animated stuff to be honest um well the ones that came before all this stuff and adaptations of things such as Ben Affleck's Batman screenplay, which further expand. He just goes on like this. And he, it's completely true. This, if this isn't a hit piece against Warner Brothers and, their, and the people running it, I don't know what it is. I do not know what, ugh, I do not know what this is. This completely reads like a complete hit piece. And like I said, I'll leave the um, um, thing in the link in the description. Um, I will apologize if you, it doesn't work because um, yeah, apparently this, this is my third Forbes article. So <laughs> um, this is my la third of three. It's my last one. Uh, so, I mean, they also mention that the Snyders have a lot, a lot with. The, apparently, they have a deal with Netflix, but that could have been avoided if Warner, the Warner Brother people would have just shut their flipping mouths, gone with where the money was. But they didn't because they need they need to have all the bright lights on them. That's what it's all about. I want all the light on me. I don't want, I do not, do not understand how Warner Brothers still has this reputation of being a director's or a creator's studio because they're frick, the freaking studio execs are constantly, constantly 
getting in the way of things. As far back as I as far as back as I can remember, it's probably further along for those who have been paying more attention to it than I have. But as far back as Batman Forever, I can um, recall that Warner Brothers has been nothing, especially with um, DC, been nothing but constantly getting on everybody's face about no 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 you need to make it more like this you need to make it more like this and uh, now it's the whole there was a the whole everything's gonna be batman now everything's i don't even know what they want i don't even know what they want i don't think they know what they want they they just want the limelight they want everybody to be the washing over them with praise give me a break make your goddamn you're not in the business to be washed with praise you're in the business to make Make a bunch of entertainment, dance around, and have people throw money at you. Shut up, do what you're not good at. And I don't even know if you're that good. God damn it. But yeah, I mean, seriously, I do not... This, this article is nothing... Maybe they don't have the um, ability to get onto Forbes, but... I don't get it. I don't get why this isn't getting as much traction as the Gina Carano stuff. Maybe because people just liked, the people doing on YouTube just liked Gina Carano and the Mandalorian more. But seriously, I'm, and I'm sorry, but this is still in the entertainment business. This is still Hollywood. And I'm, and I'm sorry, but if you're, I don't care if you don't like this, you should cover it. This is something that should be covered, and this is, and like this is such a flipping. I, I would love to meet the person who I do not know who wrote this. Could, this could have been an AT and T. This could be an AT and T thing for all I know. So anyway, yeah. Um, if you're able to go ahead and read this thing, this is. Um, it really is interesting. These hit pieces, especially with the knowledge of exactly how stupid Hollywood is not run. run <laughs> I hesitate to say it's run. Oh, God, it's run like a freaking glee club. <sighs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to end the um, video right here. I will be back with more, with a part three. Um, but yeah, so I'll hope to see you in the next episode of the Snyder Cut. Huh? Hope you take care, everyone.